So many rock clubs or music venues are really a stage facing a bar. So it was about kind of reinventing a little bit what a music venue would be, because New York City didn't really need just another one, you know? This place was built by people who had had a beat up old rock club beforehand without great sight lines, without any food, mm -hmm. without any kind of elevated areas to watch. So we kind of took what was learned and took it to Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn Bowl is a really unique place. You know, we're doing programming every single night. We do almost 550 concerts a year. We're open seven days a week, and during that time we offer bowling, food, the bar, and the music all at the same time. So it's sort of an a la carte menu of whatever anybody wants to do. We just passed the 10 year anniversary of walking in here and finding this location back last month in September. And then in 2009, it took a while to, to transform this to place. figure all this all out. <laughs> you know, it's a crazy idea. Really, it's, it's, it's contrary to common sense to come into a warehouse that kind of wants to fall down and put in everything. It's kind of a dinosaur idea. You really have to hit at least a double, maybe a home run, in order and to get And the size. Get Everyone by. was like, it's so, you're nuts. This yeah. is so big. Brooklyn became this, this self-perpetuating or self-fulfilling myth where kids all over the world heard about it. It was just something in the air. They started to come here. When they started to come here, it really wasn't true, but they made it true. You know, I think people who are the creatives, you know, they got priced out of Manhattan, so they're moving to Williamsburg, and these are the people who are artists, who are creating things. And when people like that live in a place, the restaurants are cooler, you know, the venues are better, and Brooklyn just became it. Check, check, check. All I love is music in the basement. We do literally every genre of music. Anything that's upbeat, fun, feels like a party is kind of what we're going for. So we do everything from folk music to bluegrass to New Orleans to funk to old school hip hop to, you know, young and emerging talent of all genres, you know, with the primary focus on rock bands and anything in that world. So this is the band room here at Brooklyn Bowl. This band room's had like Adele and Kanye West and Snoop Dogg and Bill Clinton came and hung in here. Um, Usher we had in here, Axl Rose was in here. Uh, when Jane's Addiction was here, Perry Farrell we hung out with here, Robert Plant from Led Zeppelin. So it's been pretty cool that this room, this just little attic kind of room has had, um, it's got a lot of history. You know, it feels a little bit like you're in New Orleans at two in the morning after Jazz Fest and it's popping in here, uh, but it might just be 10 o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> so we've tried to create that feel of fun. And that's the same with the food. Uh, we went to our friends at Blue Ribbon. The Blue Ribbon food is fun. You know, the fried chicken and the french fries, the gravy. We, we do um, some uh, New Orleans comfort food. We make uh, Teresa pizza, which is uh, something uh, we do very special in a baguette. Also, we made some uh, Bourbon Street shake, which is inspired on uh, the sound and the Bourbon Street. We do the oyster egg shooters with pickled jalapenos, which is really nice and touchy between different dishes, you know, the double eggs and the povoy and you know, some spiciness from the south. There's a really interesting dynamic of the way people utilize this building, and people will come in to bowl or to eat or to see the show, but most people want to do all those things at once. So you're able to watch the show and hear the show the entire time while you're bowling, while you're eating, while you're drinking. No matter where you are in the building, you can see and hear it because of all the screens and speakers that we put on. So you're never far away from the concert. You're always participating or at least watching. You don't feel like you're in separate rooms. It's one big experience the whole time. When a band uh, plays a, a great gig here, or a sold out show, we have an important guest. We send them Patron Silver Chilled. Uh, we're just going to do them for you since you can't be here. But, uh, Chuck, there you go. It's the right thing to do. 
chill silver patron usually goes down pretty well. You don't do too many of them because we want to be able to keep doing them. So we'll Cheers. So we'll do one for you. Cheers.